Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this. And welcome back to Timber and Stone. Um, we have run out of storage of stone. Now, based on a previous comment from a previous episode, apparently it's best place to put the stone um, storage within sort of the confines of the mine, just for now. Makes sense. That way they can obviously... Uh, I need to build that. Mine, I can build that. Right, especially if I build more mine. I have. It's on there. That way, they can obviously store it while they're mining, and it should all be good. I need to. have a look at a few bits and bobs. Just to decide what we're going to do in this episode. Now, get my fingers in the right place. I want to get my stone mason a bit active. Not stone anvil, it's the one I want. I'm guessing we need to store. Built, I don't know. Where, where do we store? Where do we store building materials then? So if we start building bricks, this is the big focus point for here. Um, let's go with the original brick. So it's two raw stone and one dirt. Oh, 50 to Q, I like that. Put me 200 bricks then. Now that will require more dirt than I've got for now. But I'll be able to add more dirt to the mining process shortly. Or what else are you? Carpenter and nothing else. Did we get enough of anything to build? More rope? Nope. Just gonna have a look around the map and see what enemies have spawned now. Oh, hello. We have one of these bad boys, Goblin Wolf Rider. Just what we want to avoid. Two Goblin Wolf Riders. Do they attack three Goblin Wolf Riders? Four Goblin Wolf Riders. Five Goblin Wolf Riders. Six Goblin, Goblin Wolf Riders. So that pretty much eliminates this area of the map then from visiting for a while until we're a bit more, a bit more set up and a bit more secure, which is uh, not ideal because we didn't get any animals as we would have liked to, which is a pain in the ass. Um, so we've got one fisherman and one farmer. Don't think that's going to be gathering us enough food, is it? Don't need wheat. I need everything else other than wheat. We don't have enough of anything up here for you to gather any more food. You appear to be removing from. Why are you taking that out of there? You stop. There's a stop out there. I'm guessing a building cart makes the most logical sense for now.
Not really gathering as many um, resources as I would have liked, I guess. It's not is the big problem. So you're actually collecting plenty of food, aren't you? Kicking the wrong buttons. So you are actually producing a good, a good, a good spattering of food. Infantry. You're also protect, producing quite a good amount of food. It's just, is it enough to feed my people before we run out of food? Is the question. big level of concern that I have is can we keep all of my people fed and safe? I can hear the goblins running around doing things. So we need to get some more dirt. So let's put this hill off for now and let's level this out as well so that'll give you some more dirt come mind this oh his name's lemonade I didn't even notice that plenty of hammers let's make some more stone axes now we have plenty of wood plenty of raw stone that is a massively longer distance than I thought it was Building a bridge across there is going to require a lot of work. Unless I just cheat and build a, a flat level bridge, I guess. Let's have a look at our storage capacities. So the building materials are being stored in the trolley, I think, by the look of it. Is what we want to see. Though it appears to have shingles in there. think what I want to do. I could build the two towers I want to have here around my gate I guess. Doors, castle gate. How wide is that? How come I want the grid? There we go. Why is it that one? Four, four wide. Build raw stone. That was my entrance to the castle. With the castle gates in the middle. I could then put the castle wall. I can't even work out what elevation those are on. Have I put them on the right level or not? Are they underwater or not? Yes, 
yes they were. Oh well. Where has my carpenter lady gone? There you are. Carpenter lady. Become a builder for the time being. And did you just instantly collect all of the resources that you need? You did. Why didn't you bring the building trolley? Oh, so it's not a cart that people can drag with them. It's just that's where you store. I don't understand. You're nearly full of food, just in time, because we're going to need you to come and take some food with us. Provide some food to us, is what I meant to say. So my miners aren't fucking sensible when it comes to doing what I told them to do, are they? I'll leave them. I'll leave them f underground until they finish, and they can go and dig the dirt. Like I asked them to. I'm not making very many bricks. How f are you just fucking terrible at breaking bricks or something? Failed at crafting brick. Lost resources on raw stone. Successfully crafted brick. Failed. Successful. 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 So she's not being particularly brilliant. You're bringing the fish back. Is it worth upping your... Yes, now they're doing what I told them to do, which is dig the dirt. Wow, he's collected a lot of wheat. Wheat. We only have six in storage. Now we're probably gonna have more, are we? Eight. That seems a bit of low. He had absolutely tons of wheat in his inventory and he only put two. Hmm? Not a hundred percent following this particular logic at the moment. You're going to slowly and surely build that. This is actually going to take a lot longer to build anything. It makes logical sense to have the infantry. Why can't you pull the fucking building cart? I'm not making you building raw stone. I'm just putting the foundations down. Laying the foundation shouldn't take too much of your life. So let's put, put the door here. What did you just chuck in there? What did you just dump in there? Bit a bit suspicious what you just did then. Where's my builder lady gone? Uh -oh. Where? Where's she gone? What are you doing? Bloody weirdo. Bloody weirdo. A 
few stone hammers for now. It's frustrating that you have to go all the way back there to get a hammer, and you could have just get some resources while you're there as well. Come on, I right, open finish building that, so I can knock this door in. There we go. Doors in. It will be in, obviously. You're 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 the carpenter. Maintaining about the right amount of food for our people. How much food have you got in your inventory at the moment? Two. Well, 0 0.25 of a food. I don't understand this food quant quota. Well, the quantity of food that is available doesn't seem to match the quantity of work that's going into collecting the food. But none of my people are leaving because they're hungry. Your, what's your current... Oops. Hung, hung, everyone's not hungry, which is fine. I can deal with them not being hungry. Hmm. Come on, part of long. This fisherman swam. He's using this pier to catch the bigger fish. That's what you want to do. Good. So you're sorted with that for now. Need to go and carpenterize some door. Let's also make five stone hammers and five stone pickaxes. Have you not got anything yet? Or one copper ore so far? Mostly because they're digging dirt at the moment, aren't they? We're going to take that tree down. Oh, work. wow, that is one slow ass chopping. Probably shouldn't have got them to dig dirt with copper pickaxes. That's probably the big mistake I've made. Come on. Nope. It's our midday moment. It's probably a good point to think about stopping this episode yet. 19 minutes in, so it, it, it makes it easy to break these break these blocks down. Take away the stump. There we go. So we are at midday of day three, and that brings us a logical brings us to a logical stop point for the episode. The work is progressing nicely. Obviously, this particular set up with the new uh, requirements on the building process etc does appear to be causing us a little bit of a slowdown as far as the work that we have to do but I'm sure we'll be able to overcome it in some way just get her leveled up but we'll see what happens in the afternoon on the next episode I'm slowly but surely starting to put the castle together once the castle walls are started um, I can think about putting a hall in place and perhaps putting a road just to this top edge up here and then monitoring it to see, oh, we have a boar. See, now I'm tempted to herd it. Herd the boar, collect some animal hair, you know, do some proper sort of looking after the animals because I do have plenty and properly plenty of hay and wheat and stuff to keep them alive. So we'll see what happens this afternoon. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, guys.